Okay, okay. I am setting up my screen here. Can you please be patient with me? I need a few seconds to get my screen set up. Okay, I think I'm good. All right. Hello, everyone. It's me. It's Mark. And I'm with you for another live stream class. Yay! Before I do anything, okay, Lolly, I'm going to say, can you see me and hear me? But I already see a yes. So that means, <clears throat> Lolly already gave me a big yes. So that means you can see me and hear me. So that means everything is okay. So that means I can start. All right, I'm happy about that. Well, we have a good group here. We always do. We have our usual suspects. Yes, we do. We have our green members. Yes, the green team, the members, the paying members of the channel, like Tetsuro. Hello, Tetsuro. Like Devender. Hello, Devender. I see Sewu. I see Marion. I see Lolly. I see, let's see, um, Sewu. I think I said Sewu. Uh, Marin, yeah, okay, Tetsuro, okay, okay, good, good. And I also see Helga, Vera, hello, Vera, Alice, yes, oh, Lee Smith, hello. I see Joa, yes, Joa, Samuel, hello, Samuel, okay, good, 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 all right. Well, um, I'm happy to see everyone, and um, it's good to see you, yeah, and um. Before we do anything else, Tomas, hello Tomas. Before we do anything else, we always have a toast for good luck. Yeah, so let's do that. Hey, Dang, how are you? Let's do our toast. So here's my beverage. Please pick up your beverage and um, for our toast. Well, our first toast will be to the green team. Yes, the members, the paying members. They support me, they support the channel. By supporting me and the channel, they are supporting everyone. So we need to give them a big, big thank you. Yes, we do. All right, cheers, green team. Cheers. If you don't have a beverage, we can fist bump. Bump, cheers, bump, cheers. Yes, and because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Yes, we do. And let's do it. Bottoms up, everyone. Cheers. Mmm. All right, thank you, green team. Anna, hello, Anna's in the house. Yes, long time no see, Anna. How are you doing? I hope you're wonderful. Mwah. All right, Maria's here. Hello, Maria. I hope you are wonderful. Mwah. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, good. And for our second toast, it's for you. Yes, you are here. Without you, there's no reason for me to be here. No, no, no. Without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So thank you very much. Oh, 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 and we have to toast to you. Uh, a toast to a fun, interesting, informative, and wonderful lesson today. Cheers, bump, cheers, bump. Hey, Dora is in the house. Ray Ray's in the house. Great, great, great. All right, well, our chat is building. Yes, people are coming in, and that's fantastic. Yeah, so thanks, everyone, for joining me today. I appreciate it. Mm. Okay, well, for today's plan right here, I have today's lesson plan right here. Oh, and we will be here for two hours, yeah? So I hope you are comfortable. I hope you are happy. I hope you are relaxed. And I hope you are ready to practice English with me and with the chat, okay? Good, good, good. All right. And for today's lesson plan, we're going to do a review activity called, what is it? I'm going to give you clues and you're going to tell me what it is. Then we will do, which is better? I'm going to give you a choice of two, two actions or things and you tell me which is better and why. Then we will do dictation practice and then we will do Lolly's Revenge. For sure, we're gonna do Lolly's Revenge today. We, um, the last few times we didn't have time, but today we'll for sure definitely do it. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm going to keep my eye on the clock and I am going to um, be careful with the time. 
So we will have time for Lolly's Revenge. And Lolly's Revenge is a conversation between two people, Joe and Sue. Joe and Sue. Okay, so we will do that for sure. We, didn't, we haven't done it for the last few classes, but today for sure. Hey, Bill Moore is in the house. Okay, yes, we're all in the house. All right, Vilmar. Okay, let's get right to it, shall we? What is it, what is it, what is it? This is our first activity. What is it? Okay, that's a bad S there. Okay, S. What is it? It's, uh, okay. So, and there are four cards. One, two, <clears throat> three and four. One, two, three, four. So I need four magnets. I have four magnets right over here. Put one there. There's one magnet. There's two magnets. Three magnets. Four. Four magnets. Yes. Because four cards. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> I'm going to give you some clues and you tell me what it is. Ava is here. <laughs> Ava's in the house. Mwah. Oh, Rita's in the house. Rita, Mwah. kisses for Ava and Rita. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here are your hints. This is seen on the Jolly Roger. This, um, this is a dead person. <laughs> This is a symbol of danger. This is, um, let's see, uh, yeah, symbol of danger, uh, hazardous, right? It's a danger, or it's a, a symbol. It could be a symbol of it's hazardous. Um, let's see, when we die and we lose, or if, it's the, our structure. So we have a, a bone structure and um, this is part, this is the bone structure of our head. This is the bone structure of our head. Yes, it is. I'm looking at your answers now. Let's see. Oh, everyone's saying hello, Mr. G. Mr. G, hello. I don't know. Is that Mrs. G classroom? Is she in here? Yeah, Mrs. G, how you doing? Mwah, kisses for you. Mwah, good to see Mrs. G classroom in the house. Yeah. Okay, Sylvia says skull. Okay, Mo says skill. Skull, I should say, skull. Ava, skull. Tomas, skull. Okay, yeah, you guys remember. So. The Jolly Roger is a pirate flag, and this is the symbol on the pirate flag, the, the Jolly Roger. This is our head bone structure, and yes, that's what it is. It's a skull. Skull and crossbones. Skull and crossbones. But Yep, so our skull is the bone structure of our head, yeah. Okay, good job, skull. Okay, here we go, card number two, number two. Okay, card number two, hints are, it has wheels, it has a kitchen, um, it's very mobile. We can cook in this. Um, people like this, this is, this is a, restaurant that can move anywhere. Um, you can take this wherever you want and you can cook food, sell food on it. And it has wheels, tires. Uh, it, it has a, a engine. <laughs> it has brakes. It has windows. <laughs> it, it, can, it has a kitchen inside. Um, people cook inside this. Yeah, you guys got it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Lolly, good. Yes, Devender. Yep, Tomas. Marion. Good, good. Yep, Lolly. 
Okay, good. It is, yes, it's a food truck. Okay, good job. It's a food truck. You got it. You got it. Okay, card number three. Card number three. This is a type of tree, and we see these in dry, hot regions or dry, hot areas. Um, they, their fruit is a, a date. So they produce, the fruit they produce is called a date. Um, it's a very tall tree. It's a beautiful tree. And when we see this tree, we think of maybe paradise. We think of a tropical place, but actually um, this particular tree grows in hot, dry climates. Um, like the desert, right? You see these in the desert and they're very beautiful and I like them very much and they grow very, very tall. They grow very, very tall and their fruit is called a date, which is very, very delicious. It's kind of like a, a dry fruit, yeah? Kind of like a, like a raisin, like that. Okay, yep, you guys got it. Yeah, I don't, palm oil, yeah, I'm not sure exactly which palm trees have palm oil. I'm not sure, Devender, about that exactly, palm trees. We have these in, Cal in the California desert, and they grow dates, but I don't know, like, I've never heard, I know they grow palm oil like in Malaysia. That's a big producer of palm oil. I'm not sure exactly how all that works though. Okay, good, yes, a palm tree. You got it, good job, you got it. It's a palm tree. Okay, let's do one more. We have one more card. And our next card, our next thing is, okay, here are the clues. It's a kitchen utensil. It's a kitchen utensil. It is used to scrape food out of bowls. It is used to scrape. <coughs> it is used to scrape food out of a bowl. It, it, um, it has a, a rubbery end. So the thing that scrapes the food out of a bowl is kind of rubbery. Maybe the handle is wood or plastic, and um, it's a very useful utensil, and we see this in the kitchen, and if you're, if you're cooking in the kitchen, you need this, because without this, you will leave a lot of food in the bowl, and that is, you're, you are wasting food. So you need this to not waste food. You need this utensil, so you do not waste food, yeah. Okay, yep, you got it, everyone. Yes, it's a fantastic, useful tool. That's right, Mo. Yeah, a spatula. It's a spatula. Skyscraper, Vilmar, is a very, very tall building. <laughs> this is a, a food scraper. Not a skyscraper, Vilmar. A skyscraper is a very, very tall building where this spatula is a food scraper. <laughs> good job, Vilmar. That was very interesting. That, that's good, Vilmar. Okay, good. <clears throat> yes, a spatula. Okay, so here are our review cards. Yeah, we did these. <coughs> sorry, sorry. I got hay fever bad today. My, my allergies, my um, hay fever I get in the springtime is, is bad today. Ah, okay. So we did these on Wednesday, I believe, or Tuesday. I forget. I keep forgetting. It was, we did these on Tuesday or we did them on Wednesday. I forget. <laughs> but um, we're reviewing. So we did these already. The first time you just saw the picture and today we, I gave you clues so you can um, think about it and recall the items. 
So we, today we had a skull, a food truck, a palm tree, and a spatula. Okay, good job, good job. All right, Leonardo, cheers. Here's to coffee. Leonardo, here's to coffee. Pa yes, thank you, Lolly. Hay fever equals allergy to pollen, yes. So in the spring, many flowers and trees start to um, bloom and they give off the, the um, pollen so they can um, create new trees and new flowers. And so the, that pollen in the air gets into my nose, gets into my eyes, gets into my ears, gets into my throat and causes me to have a runny nose. It causes me to have a cough. It causes me to have itchy eyes. Say woo. <laughs> Thank you, Say woo. Thank you for the coffee. You are too kind, Say woo. Mwah. Thank you for the coffee. Cheers. Say woo just bought me a cup of coffee. Yes, she did. Woohoo. I am lucky. Mm. For that, Sewu gets on the board of love. Yes, Sewu is on the board of love. Sewu, she is always very, very kind, always very, very generous. Sewu, more kisses for you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Three is the charm. Yep, yeah? we like to do things in threes here, and. So you got three kisses from me to you, Sewu. One more time. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sewu. Thank you. Cheers, cheers, Sewu. Cheers, cheers. I hope you're drinking coffee right now too. So let's let's bump, let's bump um, cups. Boom. Okay, good, good. All right. Thank you, Sewu. Mm. All right. For our next activity, we are going to do. Which is better? Which is better? Which is better? I'm asking you, which is better? All right, this is my, this is my question to you. Which is better? I'm asking you, which is better? That's, this is my question for you. Yeah, which is better? And right here, I have some cards that have some questions for you. Yes, I have questions for you. A for Anna is in the house. Yes, good to see the green team strong here. The green team is strong. Okay, for my question to you, which is better? All right, here we go. Which day, all right, which day is better? Monday or Friday? So what do you think? Tell me in the chat. Which day is better, Monday or Friday? Please tell me your I please tell me your thoughts in the chat. Please tell me your thoughts in the chat. Which day is better, Monday or Friday? Which day is better? Monday or Friday? Please tell me your feelings in the chat. Tell me what you think about this in the chat. Which day is better, Monday or Friday? Which do you think? Which one is better in your opinion? In your opinion, which day is better? And why, of course. The most important part is telling me why. Tell me why. Okay, A for Anna says, Friday is better because it is my weekend. Oh, that's a good one. Um, Devender, Friday is better because after that I have two days off. Tomas says, Friday is better because it's near the weekend. Sebu, Friday is better because I have a day off. All day is free for Friday. Helga, okay, these are going fast now. Helga, Friday is better. It is beginning of the weekend. Lolly, Friday is better because the weekend is around the corner. 
Okay, Verne says Monday is better. Okay, Verne, why? Why do you think Monday is better? Please tell me your reasoning. Ava says Friday because I can watch Mark's live stream. Mm, Ava, another big kiss for you. <laughs> Tetsuro says Friday because the next day is a holiday. Well, okay, Tetsuro. Okay, holiday is a special day. But when it's a normal day, we say day off, okay? So holiday means it's a special day. So like, for example, Christmas is a holiday. Um, let's say New Year's Day is a holiday. The, um, so it's a special day where um, Saturday and Sunday might be a day off for you. That means you don't have to go to work. So it's a day off or you don't have school or you don't have work so we call, we say a day off so um friday because the next day is my day off okay tetsuro okay good good okay uh okay let's see anna says there she is okay i see you now friday is better because i'm able to watch live stream very good vilmar for those who work friday without doubt tgif that means thank god it's friday because then it's the last day of the working week right tgif that means it's the last day of the working week and the next day is your day off so thank god it's friday because tomorrow i do not have to work yes Let's see, Tomas, actually for me, every day. Anna, 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 Mwah, yes. Anna is on the board of love. I feel the love, Anna, I feel the love. Thank you, Anna, thank you, Sewu. Yes, yes. There is your heart. And there is your name because you are full of love. <laughs> oh, Anna, thank you very, very much. You are, Sewu and Anna are on the green team. They're already, they already support me and they're giving me extra support. Thank you for the extra support. Love you. Mwah. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> I love you. Yes, I do. Marion says, Friday is better because there are two days of fun. Friday is better because the following, after Friday, there are two days of fun. So, on Friday, Friday is better because um, following Friday, there are two days of fun. Following Friday following Friday, right? So here's Friday. And then the following day, the following day is Saturday, right? So Friday, because the following two days, the following two days are fun days. Okay, good, good, good. All right, Alice. So we get, we, we, we've seen lots of Fridays. Most people are saying Fridays, but Alice here says Monday's better because a new day a new beginning. Oh, Alice. So Alice is looking at the new day. You Friday people are looking at the end, right? So Friday is the end of the week, week and now I can rest. However, however, Alice is looking at it the opposite way. She's looking at like, okay, Monday is a new week, new adventures, new days ahead. <laughs> All right, that is very good. I love to see um, different opinions. I love to see the opposite opinion because we can look at, of course, we look at Friday as, yeah, we, the next day we don't have work, we don't have school, we can relax, we can have fun, but we can look at it the opposite way where Monday is better because we're starting a new week, we're starting um, new adventures, we don't know how the week is going to go. So that can be fun, right? The unknown, right? 
where, where maybe Friday, Saturday and Sunday, we, we do our usual thing, right? We, we have our day off, so maybe we go to the park, we, we um, go to a movie and things like that. But on a Monday, we don't know what the week ahead is going to be, right? Is it going to be um, a good week? Is it going to be a bad week? Are your coworkers going to be angry? Is the boss going to be angry or is the boss going to be happy? We don't know. So nice, nice, nice. Oh, good, Sewu. Sewu, good question. Sewu says, please tell me why Wednesday is hump day. So do you know what, a, you know a camel, right? A camel has a hump. So it, it, it's a hump is like this kind, so a camel, right? So I'm gonna draw a camel here. I'm gonna try. <laughs> and then a camel has a hump, right? There's a camel. Okay, we have a camel, we have a hump, yeah? So we have Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday is the middle. Then we have Thursday, Friday. Yeah, say well. So right here we have Monday, Tuesday, beginning, and then we have Wednesday in the middle, hump, and then Friday, Saturday. Yeah, so hump day is because it's in the middle of the week. It's in the middle of the week, so we say hump day. So Wednesday is hump day. And then Friday is TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. Yeah. So that is hump day. That's why we say hump day. It's, it's in the middle and it's in the middle. <laughs> yes, doc, or Mrs. G. Thank you. Okay. A for Anna. Monday is much better. Oh, Anna is saying Monday is much better because I can work wholeheartedly as it is a new beginning of the week. Yes, that is, you are very optimistic. That is very optimistic because you're looking at the bright side. You're looking at the good part where some people say they're pessimistic. They look at the negative, right? So they're saying, ah, I have to go back to work. So they're looking at Monday as bad because they have to go back to work. They have to go back to school. So they don't like it. So they're, they're, their attitude, how they, how they view it, they view Monday as negative, where Anna, A for Anna, is, is optimistic because she is looking at it as a bright new week, um, adventurous, a new beginning. We don't know the future. That's right. So we're looking, so a for Anna is looking at the future with big eyes, bright eyes. Yes, I want to see the future. Okay, good. I want to experience the future. Okay, great, great, great. Okay, full of energy. We are, we are full of energy in the middle of the week. <laughs> I don't know, Tomas. I don't know about that, but we, we should try. Let's try. Yes, Devender, Wednesday is hump day. That's right. Okay, let's go for our second card, okay? Let's go card number two. Here's your next question. Which is better? Which is better? Working alone or working with a team? All right, so this is our second question. Which is better? Working alone or with a team? One more time. Which is better, working alone or with a team? Which is better? Yes, good, Lolly. Yeah, we get so yeah. So like we can say um, hill, <laughs> right? You go. You know, you go up, you're on the hill, and then you can go down, right? So, so, right, Monday and Tuesday could be difficult, but then we're on Wednesday, and then we're just coming down. So we're, we're sliding down into the weekend. 
Ah, Anna. Good, good one. Rita, Friday is better because I can relax in the pool. Ah, Rita. Very good. Very good. Okay, one more time. Which is better, working alone or with a team? So, Anna, I need to know your answer. Okay, which is better, working alone or with a team? Which is better, working alone or with a team? Which do you prefer, working alone or with a group of people? Which do you prefer, working alone or working with a group? Helga, working alone is better because you don't depend on anybody. Lolly, working with a team because you can share the responsibilities and it is more convenial or um convivial. Con oh, I'm, I, I've lost, I lost the, the pronunciation there. Devender, working with a team because you can chat with them as well as you can take help when we're stuck with something. That's right. So, so working with a team because you can chat with, the, uh, with others and you can um, get help when you are stuck. You can get help when you are stuck. Tomas, working alone is better because I am, because I trust myself, but some work must be done in teams. Yes, yeah, some work must be done in teams or with teams. Good. Tetsuro, working alone because I can work at my own pace. Good. A for Anna, working with a team brings me a joyful feeling to face the adventures of challenges and challenges. Adventures and challenges. Samuel, working with a team because of the unity and compete with each other. Vera, um, the work with, work with a team, working with a team is better because it's fun. It's more fun. Working with a team is better because it's more fun. Alone, because we can sing. <laughs> we can sing and work. Yes, that's right. Speak now. Working with a team because we can share our work. Yes. Vilmar, um, they say sometimes working with a team is very difficult too. Yes, of course. Working with other people, right? Other personalities. Other, um, yeah, so other personalities and um, people have different motives, people have different goals, right? Well, a team should have the same goal, right? For sure. Ava, I'm working with a team because I have a nice, I have nice colleagues. Okay, so no ah there, I have nice colleagues. Alice, working with a team is better because I don't like working alone. All right, all right. Alice, okay. I, I saw that. Okay, Anna's, A for Anna says, okay, yes, brainstorming is a good way to, um, to brainstorming is a good way to um, get good ideas, for sure. Brainstorming is a good way to get uh, good ideas. Ray Ray, working with a team is better. God, you guys are so, this is a great Friday for me. Anna says, Devin, okay, uh, Lolly says, with the team, it's better you can discuss when we have difficult problems. Yes, we can have a discussion um, for difficult problems. Good, say, well, Rita, alone is better because of no boss. A for Anna, correction. Working with a team brings me joyful feeling to face the adventures and challenges. Yes, good. Dora, working with... The team is better because you share the responsibility with your group. Good. Patty. Patty, 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 Patty. Oh, Patty, you are on the wall of love. Patty, you get your name on the wall of love. Thank you so much, Patty. Patty, Patty. 
she is like a, three kisses. Three's the uh, lucky number. Yeah. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Thank you, Patty. Wow, today is my lucky day. <laughs> today is my lucky day. Thank you so much. Again, Patty is part of the green team. She's giving me extra support. Patty, thank you for your extra support. Mwah. You're already a supporter and you're giving me extra support. Ugh, thank you so much. I have to say one more time. Sewu, Anna, Patty, Mwah. kisses to you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, Bobby says, working with a team is the best way. Okay. I think, oh, uh, BDB51 says, let's get it working with the team is awesome. Yeah. Francisco, it's okay. Better late than Never. I say it's better late than never. Better late than never. So it's better late to come than never to come. It's better to be late and be here than never to be here at all. Dang says, working with a team because I get more knowledge. Good. I get more knowledge. More knowledge. So we don't use that. We don't put a plural there. Get more knowledge. Okay, um, Adam says, working with a team because we help each other. That's right. <laughs> Ava, yes, Friday is better for Mark. <laughs> today is better for sure. Yeah, yeah, today's a great day. Today is a great day. Okay, <laughs> yes, Friday is, is um I, I want to say today is a good day, yes, because um, when I'm here with you, it's always good to be with you. It's always good to be with you, and um, today is, is um, great. <laughs> it's always great with you, though. It's always great to be here with you. Of course, it's, any day I'm here, I'm happy to be here because I'm with you. Alice says, working alone is better because I can eat some snack and Casual wear. Ah, because, see, we're getting good points. We're getting good points. Um, Bobby says, depending on the circumstances, either one can be better. Yes, of course. It depends on the situation. Of course, of course. Um, Speak Now says, working with a team is better because we can share our opinion with our friends when we don't know something in this, our friends will help us for sure, for sure. Um, yeah, for me, I mostly work alone, right? And I enjoy working alone, but um, when I'm, when I go to, so I do a lot of work here in my office alone, and I enjoy that, right? I can, I can listen to music and uh, make videos, right? And so, so I enjoy that alone time, working alone. It's quiet for me. But also, I like going to my classes at the university, and I, have, I can talk to my colleagues and talk with my students. And so I get, I get joy from both. But um, if I had to choose one, I would choose working alone. <laughs> if I... There, there's definitely, you know, good benefits on both sides, right? Good points on both sides. But if you have to choose one, I'm going to cho choose working alone. Okay, good, good, good. I'm looking at the clock because I don't want to um, run out of time. We have to do Lolly's Revenge. We have to do that today for sure. So I'm going to stop it today, okay? Because even though I'm sorry to stop and do switch activities, I'm sorry to switch activities because you guys are having great, great sentences. You guys have great points of view. And I appreciate... Wow! W 
Waddy38 says, working with a team is better because I can exploit labor. No, Waddy, no, 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 no. That's, that is, thank you for the, for the chat, super chat. I appreciate that. Yeah, this is a, um, your, your, your name is going on the wall of love, but please don't exploit labor. No. So maybe if some of you don't know what exploit means, exploit means take advantage, right? Take advantage. So Waddy, do not take advantage. And labor is workers, right? People working. And so exploiting labor, exploiting um, the workers is not good, right? Because we want to be kind. We want to be... Um, if, if you're kind to, if you're a boss and you have people working for you, um, if you're kind and generous, your, your employees, the people working for you, will be happy and they will be happy to work for you. Exploiting people is, makes people unhappy. So that's a bad environment. And so that's not good. Waddy, no, but okay, Waddy. I, I'm going to still put your name up there. We don't want to exploit. No, no, we don't, we don't want to do that, Waddy, okay? But I appreciate, I appreciate that super chat. I appreciate it, but we don't want to exploit people. No, that's not good. <laughs> Boomer ide ideology. So boomers is older people, right? So um, the people like after World War II. And yeah, so exploiting labor. Okay, so, so Sewu has a question. So that means um, exploit is take advantage. So take advantage and then labor is um, workers. So taking advantage of workers because maybe uh, some people have no choice. They have to, they have to work there and you can um, pay them low, low wages, make them work a lot, give them bad working conditions and just to make more money, right? And so that's bad karma, bad, bad karma to um, take advantage of, of people who do not have a choice. So that is not good. <laughs> Waddy. Okay, Waddy. This is your first time here. What is your situation, Waddy? What? This is the first time I've seen you here in um, our chat. So tell me about you. What's your What's your background? What do you do? Are you Are you a student? Do you work? Tell us about yourself, please, Waddy. Tell us about yourself. Okay, as, as I'm waiting for Waddy to tell us about himself, let's go ahead and move to our next topic, okay? Our next topic will be dictation cards. All right, everyone, dictation cards. So please get your pencil and paper. Get your pencil and paper. So, um, you, for our next activity, right? So dictation cards and, um, we are going to have four steps. Yeah. So I'm going to write our steps right here and, and our dictation cards today are from the members, the green team. So we have our, on Fridays, Fridays is our, um, members own our members dictation cards boomer is baby boomer that's a generation that's so that's a name of a generation so we have like the baby boomers we have gen x we have um the menu um so, so it the baby boomers are a it's a name of a generation and those are the baby boomers are after World War II until like 1960. I'm, I'm the end of the baby boomer. I'm like the last year. So I was born in 1963 
And then 1964 was um, the, the, I forgot, after baby boomers. I don't know. There's, each generation has a name. Wow, wow. <laughs> What's happening today? This never happens to me. Wow, wow. Thank BDB51. Exploiting workers is good for making money. Yes, but bad karma. Thank you for the super chat. Wow, wow. BDB51. You get, wow, lots of, lots of love today. Thank you. B, D, B51, B518, and a heart. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. We don't want car bad karma. So BD51, exploiting workers, you might make more money, but you're going to have bad karma and maybe you're going to have a, a bad working environment. Maybe you're not going to enjoy um, your job, right? Because if you have to exploit people, if you have to take advantage of people to make money, you're not going to have, maybe you're not going to have a happy work environment and you're going to have um, bad karma. Okay, okay, so let's thank you again, BD518. Appreciate that. Oh. So this is unusual for me. Usually I get, um, I don't get these kind of questions on the super chat. <laughs> so I don't get exploiting workers and, um, and, and things like that. That's unusual. <laughs> It's my lucky day, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of thrown back. I'm, I'm surprised. Of course, this is fantastic, and I really, you guys, mm, thank you for the love, but I'm, I've been surprised on the, the super chat. Yeah, so um, important questions, but um, controversial questions, yeah. Okay, let's get back to our um, next activity which is dictation practice. And so like I said, today's um, dictation cards are from our members, the green team. So today's cards are from Marion, Lolly, Larissa, Dr. Ramirez, Miley, Sophia, Ava, Sewu, Rita, Devender and Marion. Okay, good, good. So those are our people who gave us the sentence, right? They wrote the sentences and our topic is close quarters, close quarters, close quarters. Yeah. And um, that's the topic, close quarters. And basically means um, situation, a situation of being very close to someone or something. Okay, so, and it's usually a negative connotation. So it's usually negative, right? So it, you're, you're too close, right? It's, you're not comfortable because you're too close, right? And so it's, it, in most cases, it's a negative, okay? It's not good. And if you think of like close quarters, you're, you're surrounded, you know? You're in like a small area and there's people or things, right? Maybe you live in a very small apartment and so everything's close to you. So, oh, I live in close quarters, right? So it's not ideal. It's not, you don't really enjoy it so much, but um, that's the situation. And so it's usually a negative, um, it's usually a negative feeling. Let's see, BD51, working with the team is better because you can build off each other. Okay, that's what I like to see. I like to see positive, yes. 
BD51. Great. Yes. <laughs> Waddy says, my guy was just trolling you. You're doing a good work here. Thank you, Waddy. I appreciate it. Yeah, so um, I was kind of thrown back, right? Because it's not my usual um, type of um, conversation, not usually type of questions or, um, or, you know, people bring topics, right? So um, I was like, wow. Because <laughs> we're not political here, right? We're, we're, we're practicing English, right? We're not political. We're not religious. We are here to, to um, have fun. We are here to practice our English by doing games and activities, right? And so I give you listening activities. I give you um, opportunities to express your feelings, your ideas in English, right? But not political. So that's more kind of political and um, controversial. So anyways, let's get back to this. So close quarters, yeah, situation of being very close to someone or something. And we are going to do four steps. Step one is dictation. That's where you're going to listen and write down what I say word for word. Then we're going to shadow. That is speaking practice. Then we will review. We will do, um, we will practice pronunciation. Pronunciation. And then we will have a quiz. And these are our member sentences. I did not write these sentences. The members did. All right. So these are the people, the people I, I told you. Okay. So let's go ahead and do it, shall we? Okay. Let's do it, do it, do it. All right. So do you have a pencil? Do you have paper? And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have 10 cards today. We have 10 cards. Okay, here we go. All right, countdown to dictation. Our first step, dictation. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. The astronauts have close quarters in the rocket. And I'm going to say each card three times. Here's the second time. The astronauts have close quarters in the rocket. The astronauts have close quarters in the rocket. Okay? You, I'm not going to show you the card. I'm not going to show you the sentence until we get to shadowing and pronunciation, okay? Okay, card number two. Many poor people live in close quarters because they can't afford their own shelter. Many poor people live in close quarters because they can't afford their own shelter. Many poor people live in close quarters because they can't afford their own shelter. So it's, these are, some of them are long, some, if this is a long sentence, so if you didn't get it all, that's okay, because we're still going to, we're going to come back to it in shadowing. So don't worry if you didn't get it all, just, just write down what you can. That's the important thing. Just don't worry about everything. Just do what you can. Here we go. Card number three. I arrived in Miami walking like a chicken. A 12-hour flight in close quarters. 
I arrived in Miami walking like a chicken. <laughs> I can see. Like, <laughs> walking like a chicken. Or like a chicken goes like this. Yeah, chicken. <laughs> walking like a chicken. A 12-hour flight in close quarters. I arrived in Miami walking like a chicken, <laughs> walking like a chicken, a 12-hour flight in close quarters. Oh, no. Yeah, that's a long time to be sitting on an airplane. Wow. Okay, here we go. Card number four. The teacher was able to supervise the children's play in close quarters. The teacher was able to supervise the children's play in close quarters. The teacher was able to supervise the children's play in close quarters. Card five. During the lockdown, my friend had to live in close quarters with his family. I mean, packed like sardines. During the lockdown, my friend had to live in close quarters with his family. I mean, packed like sardines. During the lockdown, my friend had to live in close quarters with his family. I mean, packed like sardines. Again, long sentences, okay? Don't worry. Don't worry if you don't get it all, okay? It's not a problem. We will come back. You'll have lots of practice with these sentences. So right now, it's just step one. So don't think twice. Here we go. Card six. This is close quarters. Like a fat belly in tight pants. We have interesting members. <laughs> we have interesting people here in our chat, <laughs> in our group, yeah? We have, very, we have many, many interesting people in our group. <laughs> on our team, we have many interesting people on our team. This is close quarters. Like a fat belly in tight pants. This is close quarters, like a fat belly in tight pants. <laughs> Number seven, it's impossible to gather in close quarters because of the pandemic. Well, people are hiding this. Oh no, Rita, YouTube doesn't like using the word fat. So that's one of those bad words now. You can't say fat these days because people get upset. Okay. Yeah, so uh, that YouTube is hiding fat fat belly because um, it's now derogatory, meaning it, 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 it's harmful to people. I don't understand, but that's how the world is becoming. People are becoming very sensitive. And um, if you say, oh, you're fat, I mean, that's not nice to say, right? But that's, you know, it's true, right? There's fat people, 
thin people, right? I mean, anyways. And actually, people are getting fatter and fatter, I think. So anyways, so YouTube is hiding a lot of this. Anyways, okay, here we go. It's impossible to gather in close quarters because of the pandemic. It's impossible to gather in close quarters because of the pandemic. Okay, we are now card number eight, seven, I forgot. Here we go. During COVID, we are all in close quarters. We are sheltering in place. During COVID, we are all in close quarters. We are sheltering in place. During COVID, we are all in close quarters. We are sheltering in place. Okay, this is 11. It's unsafe to travel these days in close quarters with strangers. It's unsafe to travel these days in close quarters with strangers. It's unsafe to travel these days in close quarters with strangers. Okay, last card. Yeah, you guys, you're doing it, everyone. We've got a lot of cards, yeah, but you guys, and we got long sentences. We have some difficult vocabulary, but you're hanging in there. You're doing it. This is our last card. Okay, here we go. In rush hour, it's usually close quarters on the train. In rush hour, it's usually close quarters on the train. It's rush hour. It's usually close quarters on the train. <laughs> okay, yeah, that was dictation. Long sentences, I know, I know. But you guys, you know, the important thing is, actually, this is a good challenge, right? So we don't always want it to be easy, right? We want it, we, we need to, you know, up our game, right? And by doing, you know, by improving, that means we have to like take those challenges. We have to, we have to um, stretch ourselves. We have to, we have to get uncomfortable. We have to um, get out of the routine, right? We need to like expand. We need to, to, to challenge ourselves to, to do the things that are more difficult and that's how we get better, right? So we need some yin and yang, yin and yang. <laughs> we need some, you know, hard and easy, difficult, you know, simple. So, so that's good. This is all, we're here to get better. We're here to improve ourselves, right? For sure, for sure. So um, it's good, right? And it's from you guys. It's your, your ideas, your, your feelings, you know, your, you made your own sentences using close quarters. So well done. All right. Um, shadowing time. So now it's time for speaking practice, not writing practice, but speaking practice. So we're going to do the cards again, but now we're going to speak. So we'll go faster and um, then I will show you the sentence. You will see the picture and we will talk about the meaning. Okay. So we're going to shadow. We're going to go a little faster. Okay, so here we go. No writing, but speaking. That's why we're here to practice our speaking, pract our speaking skills. Yeah, we're here to practice our speaking skills. Here we go. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. The astronauts have close quarters in the rocket. The astronauts have 
close quarters in the rocket. The astronauts have close quarters in the rocket. Astronauts have close quarters in the rocket. This is from Ava. Ava, good job, Ava. Ava is here with us. Now, of course, right? So the rocket is very small, and so the astronauts have to work in close quarters. Yeah, so good one, Ava. Very good. And very, I think we could all understand this. Not a problem, right? Good job. Okay, two. Many poor people live in close quarters because they can't afford their own shelter. Many poor people live in close quarters because they can't afford their own shelter. Many poor people live in close quarters because they can't afford their own shelter. Many poor people live in close quarters because they can't afford their own shelter. Okay, this is from Sophia. Thank you, Sophia. Mwah. Sophia lives in South Africa and she can't be here with us right now in the live because of her the time difference. Anyway, so this is very good, um, Sophie. Sophia, I'm sorry, Sophia. Um, so poor people, you don't have much money, right? And so, so people who don't have much money, they can't afford their own place. So they have to um, room up with other people together. And, um, and so perhaps the less money you have, you know, the closer quarters you will have. Okay, card three. I arrived in Miami walking like a chicken. A 12-hour flight in close quarters. I arrived in Miami walking like a chicken. A 12-hour flight in close quarters. I arrived in Miami walking like a chicken. A 12-hour flight in close quarters. All right, this is from Miley. This is funny. Now, this is very good because we can imagine. So she's being, um, she's using imagery, right? So with her sentence, she's describing the feeling, right? Walking like a chicken. So we know like what, how a chicken walks, right? And so now... When, when Miley says, oh, I, I got off a 12-hour, I just finished a 12-hour flight. And so, like, oh, their le her legs, right? Some, everybody, if you're on a plane for 12 hours, right? You're sitting down 12 hours in a small, you know, cramped plane, close quarters, right? So if you're on an airplane, you're in close quarters. And so, um, you know, like maybe you're walking like, ah, right? And so... So Miley is being very figurative and very like colorful sentence, colorful language. So, so very informative. We can all have a picture of how that feeling is. So that is a great sentence, um, Miley. Well done. Okay, card number four. The teacher was able to supervise the children's play in close quarters. The teacher was able to supervise the children's play in close quarters. The teacher was able to supervise the children's play in close quarters. The teacher was able to supervise the children's play in close quarters. Good. This is Marion's. Marion's here right with us. I see Marion right now. Um, good job, Marion. So, so the class is small, so everyone is close to each other, right? And so now the, the teacher can supervise, meaning um, the teacher can um, control all the children very easily, right? Because everyone's close together, and so the teacher can keep, super, she can, or he, he or she can, can watch the children easily, right? Because everyone is close together. Okay, five. During the lockdown, my friend had to live in close quarters with his family. I mean, packed like sardines. <laughs> During the lockdown, my friend had to live in close quarters 
with his family. I mean, packed like sardines. <laughs> During the lockdown, my friend had to live in close quarters with his family. I mean, packed like sardines. <laughs> I like this one too. This is Lolly, right? Lolly's here with us. We know Lolly. This is her sentence. During the lockdown, my friend had to live in close quarters with his family. I mean, packed like sardines. So that's another, that, that's an expression, packed like sardines. So if you're in a situation where you're in close quarters, you can also say, oh, I, it's packed, I'm packed like sardines. So you can see sardines. So very delicious. I like sardines. And, you know, sardines are packed in the little can and they're all touching each other. So if you're like on a train, you go, oh, we're packed like sardines. So you, you have that feeling that you're in the can <laughs> with other people, you know, like, oh, like on the tra I've been in that situation, right? Like, oh, we're packed like sardines. We are packed like sardines. We are packed like sardines. So good one, Lolly. Here we go. This is close quarters, like fat, like a fat belly in tight pants. <laughs> this is close quarters, like a fat belly in tight pants. This is close quarters, like a fat belly in tight pants. This is Rita's. Uh-oh. This is close quarters, like a fat belly in tight pants. <laughs> I like that one. This Rita, this is Rita's, Rita. Rita's here with us right now. And actually, I want to, before we do anything else, I want to say again, okay, for example, Rita's sentence, like a fat belly in tight pants. We have a good when you're telling a story, when you are describing something, if you can give us, you know, something that we can understand easily, we can, something we can picture in our mind, we'll understand your story, right? Better. So here, so Rita is using um, a lot of imagination. So we understand, we can see, right? Rita's saying, oh, this is close quarters. Like, a fat belly in tight pants. Oh, we, we, we know that, right? We can understand that. Rita, or I mean, um, Lolly, so, packed like sardines, right? Oh, okay, we understand that. Um, Miley, uh, you know, she said, walk like a chicken. So we, we, by using that kind of descriptions, we have a good idea of, of what you're talking about. And it's very colorful and very... Um, using imagination and so those are those are always strong sentences when you can um, illustrate using um, an analogy or using you know a description so good job okay here's our next sentence our next card it's impossible to gather in close quarters because of the pandemic it's impossible to gather in close quarters because of the pandemic. It's impossible to gather in close quarters because of the pandemic. This is Seiru. Seiru is here with us. We, Seiru is right here in the chat with us. And this is her sentence. It's impossible to gather in close quarters because of the pandemic. That's right, because um, many, many cities around the world have um, restrictions, right? Social distancing, right? So restaurants have to be, you know, people have to be seated apart. People cannot be in close quarters. It's impossible because the, the, the cities have made ordinances. They have made rules about how many people can be in a restaurant and how far apart they must be. Restaurants, gyms, public areas, right? So it's impossible now. Good one, say woo. Okay, our next card, our next sentence. During COVID, we are all in close quarters. We are sheltering in place. 
During COVID, we are all in closed quarters. We are sheltering in place. During COVID, we are all in closed quarters. We are sheltering in place. During COVID, we are all in closed quarters. We are sheltering in place. This is Devender. Devender is here with us. He's in the chat right now. And this is Devender's sentence. And um, sheltering in place. Hernando. Wow. Today is a good day. Thank you for the super sticker or whatever that's called. Thank you. Hernando. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Thank you so much, Hernando. I, you're on the wall of love, Hernando. Thank you so much. Hernando. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really, really appreciate your kind support. Yes, yes, yes. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Super sticker. Thanks for the... Thanks for the super sticker. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Hernando, are you in close quarters? Are you sheltering in place? So, so Demeter, sheltering in place. So that means we have to stay in our home. We can't go out. So I, I, some places, they're still sheltering in place, right? So... Uh, I think I think the UK they're still sheltering in place. That means like heavy restrictions, right? Like you you know the the restaurants are closed, the bars are closed, the pubs are closed, and so um, sheltering in place. Stay home. That means stay home. Good good one, Devin Durr. So we're getting lots of good vocabulary. Yes, lots of good vocabulary today. <laughs> yes, thank you, Ava. Super Friday. Today is Super Friday. Wow. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, six people. Thank you. Mwah. I feel the love. Thank you so much. This has been a great day so far. Yes. <laughs> okay, here we go. We got two more cards. We got to get through this. Then we're going to do Lolly's Revenge. Yep. We're going to be able to do it. I, I'm looking at the clock. We can do it, people. We can do it. Here we go. Card 11. It's unsafe to travel these days in close quarters with strangers. It's unsafe to travel these days in close quarters with strangers. It's unsafe to travel these days in close quarters with strangers. Oh, Sebu, thank you. It's unsafe to travel these days in close quarters. This is Larissa. Larissa is not here today, but this is her, her sentence. And, right, so we don't want to travel in close quarters with strangers because we don't know where they work. We don't know do they wear masks? Do they wash their hands? Right? So that's the, that's the bad thing about the COVID situation, right? Where um, maybe we're becoming more defensive. We're becoming more um, negative against other people we don't know, right? Because we don't know their, their situation, their home situation. We don't know their working situation. We don't know their hygiene situation. So um, are they being careful during COVID, right? So we don't want to travel in close quarters with strangers, right? So everyone, wear your mask, wash hands, be careful for other people. <laughs> okay, here we go. Card number 12. Well done. Okay, here we go. Or 10. This might be card 10. Sorry, sorry, not 12, 10. I forget. I forget. But last card. In rush hour, it's usually close quarters on the train. In rush hour, it's usually close quarters on the train. In rush hour, it's usually 
close quarters on the train. In rush hour, it's usually close quarters on the train. This is Dr. Ramirez. She's not here today, but she's usually here, but today she's not. This is her sentence. Um, rush hour, right? So that's the commute time. So commuting is um, going to work or going to school and then coming home from work or school. And so those two times, in the morning, going to work, going to school, so, and then coming back. And so we call the rush hour because that's when they're, that is when they're, um, the, the peak or the most time, that's the peak time where people are going to work, are traveling, right? They are going to work or school. And so we call that rush hour. That's when the streets are the most full. That's when the trains are the most full. That's when the buses are the most full. And so we call that rush hour. So, um, so during those times in the morning and evening, we, um, we call that rush hour. And that's when we are in close quarters. That's when we are in close quarters. Packed like sardines. Yes. Okay. Nice, nice. Woo. All right. That was shadowing. Very good. Now, let's go over some pronunciation, okay? So we got about five minutes until we do Lolly's Revenge, okay? So we have five minutes to do the pronunciation and the quiz, okay? So let's do it. Here we go. Let's do some pronunciation, shall we? Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Pronunciation time. The astronauts. Astronauts. So I'm going to choose maybe the difficult words, okay? Astronauts. The astronauts have close quarters. Have close quarters in the rocket. In the rocket. Many poor people live in close quarters because they can't afford afford their own shelter, shelter, shelter. Card three. I arrived in Miami. I arrived in Miami walking like a chicken, a 12 hour, 12, 12 hour flight in close quarters, a 12 hour flight in close quarters. The teacher was able to supervise, able to supervise, able to supervise, supervise the children's play in close quarters. The children's play in close quarters. During the lockdown, my friend had to live in close quarters with his family. I mean, packed like sardines, packed like sardines, packed like sardines, packed like sardines. This is close quarters, like a fat belly in tight pants, like a fat belly in tight pants like a fat belly in tight pants. It's impossible to gather in close quarters because of the pandemic. It's impossible. It's impossible. It's impossible to gather, to gather in close quarters because of the pandemic. Pandemic, pandemic. Oh, okay, okay. Rocket, okay, good, Maria. Thank you for, that's, that's good. Rocket, rocket, planet, planet, astronomy, astronomy. Okay, Vilmar, astronaut. Astronaut. That's no problem. You have a question? I will, I will help you. Astronaut. 
astronaut. Don't worry, Helga, no problem. No problem, Helga. These are long sentences. Shelf, shelf, my arm, my arm. Our, our, have, have. Okay, during COVID, we are, in, we are all in close quarters. We are all in close quarters. We are all in close quarters. We are sheltering in place. Sheltering in place. Sheltering, sheltering, sheltering. Okay, happy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm happy. You're happy. I'm happy if you're happy. Yes, happy. I'm happy too. <laughs> it's unsafe to travel these days in close quarters with strangers. 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 It's rush hour. It's usually close quarters on the train. 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 Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was pronunciation. If you have, anytime if you have a word you want me to, to pronounce for you, and if I can help you, I will. Maybe sometimes I can't. <laughs> sometimes I'm not sure the pronunciation myself, okay? So, so if, I, if I get it wrong or I'm not sure, I will tell you. But if I can, I will for sure, of course. I will always try to help you the best I can. I will always do my best for you. I will always do. That's my promise. My promise is I will always try my best for you. Okay, Kazakhstan. Hello, Kazakhstan. Okay, great, great. Now it's the quiz time. And then we will do Lolly's Revenge. We have... Two minutes until Lolly's Revenge. Two minutes till Lolly's Revenge. Okay, so let's do it real quick. We have two minutes until Lolly's Revenge. Okay, here we go. Card number one. Please write the sentence. <laughs> here we go. Please write the the sen What's the sentence? Do you, can you do it? Can you do it? Okay. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Good night. Okay. Leonardo. I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. Leandro. 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 Okay, what is the sentence? Do you remember the sentence? Can you do the sentence? Yeah, it's from Sewu. Okay, Devender. It's impossible to gather in close quarters because of the pandemic. Marian, it's impossible to gather in close quarters because of the pandemic. Helga. It's impossible to gather in close quarters because of the pandemic. Tetsuro, it's impossible to gather in close quarters because of the pandemic. Seibu, this is you. It's impossible to gather. Okay, Seibu, A, gather, gather, G-A. It's impossible to gather in close quarters because of the pandemic. Yeah, Helga, Ga to gather in. Alice, it's impossible to gather in close quarters because of the pandemic. Yeah, Tetsuro, gather, gather, a -a apple, gather. Ray Ray, it's impossible to gather in close quarters because of the pandemic. No problem, Seiwu. Okay, yes, this is Seiwu's sentence, and you guys got it correct. It's impossible to gather in close quarters because of the pandemic. Well done. Okay, we got to stop now. I'm looking at the clock. We got to do Lolly's Revenge. Yes, we do. That is a priority. It's a priority. 
All right. Good job. We did one quiz. All right. We did one card. So we did the quiz. Just one, though. Sorry. Okay. Now it's time for Lolly's Revenge. Yes. Long time. It's been too long. We haven't done it this week. There it is. <laughs> this, was so, this was supposed to be done last Friday. So, <clears throat> so we didn't do it on Tuesday either. So we didn't do it Friday. We didn't do it Tuesday. And um, so we're going to do it today. Okay. So sorry about that. Sorry, Joe and Sue. Sorry, Joe and Sue. <laughs> okay. Um, it's a priority. Yes, priority. Um, all right. So Lolly's Revenge is a conversation between Joe and Sue, Joe and Sue. And there will be four steps, four steps for Lolly's Revenge. I'm going to write the four steps right here. We got space. We got space. So we're going to do the conversation. Then we will do um, questions. Then we will do um, reading. We will read the conversation. And then we will shadow. So these are the four steps for Lolly's Revenge. I will read you the conversation. Then I will ask you questions. Step two, I will ask you questions. Three, we will read the conversation together. Four, we will shadow. That is, we will um, say the conversation together. All right? We will um, say the conversation together. Okay? All right, all right. Here we go. Let's get... Right to it. Here is Lolly's Revenge. Like I said, it's a conversation between Joe. This is Joe, and this is Sue. Hello, Joe. Hello, Sue. Okay? So here we go. Countdown to Lolly's Revenge. Five, four, three, two, one. Sue. I'm finished clearing off the dishes. Thanks, Joe. I think there is some expired food in the fridge. I cleared off those from the top shelf. Great. Can you clear off the old magazines on the coffee table? Done. What about the newspaper? Don't clear that off. I haven't read it yet. Okay, now I'll clear off the old paint cans on the workbench. Do you mind clearing off your old CDs on the bookcase? But I still listen to them. Then why are they dusty? Okay, we got to do it again, yeah? We got to do it again. Once is not enough. Okay, so let's do it one more time. OMT, one more time. OMT, one more time. Joe is first. Sue, I'm finished clearing off the dishes. Thanks, Joe. I think there is some expired food in the fridge. I cleared off those from the top shelf. Great. Can you clear off the old magazines on the coffee table? Done. What about the newspaper? Don't clear that off. I haven't read it yet. Okay. Now, I'll clear off the old paint cans on the workbench. Do you mind clearing off your old CDs on the bookcase? But I, but I still listen to them. Then why are you, then why are they dusty? Why are they dusty? Okay, what do you want to do? Do you want to go to questions? One more time. Questions.
questions? What are you what do you want to do next? In close quarters. In close quarters. Bill Mar, in close quarters. What do you want to do? Okay, Devender. Last time, more slowly. Devender. LT. Last time. MS. More slowly. Last time, more slowly. Seiru, last time, more slowly. Lolly, last time, more slowly, more slowly, please. Tetsuro, last time, more slowly. Semo, last time. Okay, I think we got. I think we got a consensus here. I think we have. We have a formed opinion. I think we have a group opinion here. Okay, Vilmar. We're going to do it again for the last time, more slowly. We're going to do it again for the last time, more slowly. Again for the last time, more slowly. Here we go. You got it. That's right. Um, free one. Here we go. Yes. Okay, Rita. Good. Okay, we have everyone's on the same page. Here we go. Sue, I'm finished clearing off the dishes. Thanks, Joe. I think there is some expired food in the fridge. I cleared off those from the top shelf. Great. Can you clear off the old magazines on the coffee table? Done. What about the newspaper? Don't clear that off. I haven't read it yet. Okay. Now I'll clear off the old paint cans on the workbench. Do you mind clearing off your old CDs on the bookcase? But I still listen to them. Then, why are they dusty? Why are they dusty? Ah, no vacuum cleaner. Or they don't have a duster, right? You know, a feather duster, right, Helga? Feather duster. Do you have a feather? Feather duster, right? Like a, um, a bird's feather, and they're put together. So it looks, you know, so it looks like a tail, right? And then use that to, to dust the bookshelf. Use that to dust the coffee table. Get the, get the dust off, right? Pan dust. I don't know what that is, Vilmore. I don't know. I'm not sure what pan dust. But yeah, Helga, a feather duster. I have a feather duster. Ah, good. They don't have the duster. Well, I think they do, but it's Joe is the duster. <laughs> okay, good job. Yes. So we did the conversation. I'm going to check that off. We did it. We did it. Yep. Good job. Okay, now it's time for questions, all right? So I'm going to ask you questions about the conversation. So please tell me the answer. Here we go. Question time. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Question number one. Question number one. What did Joe do first? Question one. What did Joe do first? <laughs> Ava, Ava, this is, this is, Ava, what's your husband's name? So it's not Joe and Sue, it's, Ava, what is your husband's name? So if you tell me your husband's name, I will um, read it with you and your husband's name. Okay, what is, what, what did Joe do first? Lolly says, he cleared off the dishes. Wash the dishes. 
Okay. So, so clear off meaning remove from the uh, surface, right? So the, the kitchen counter, right? And so maybe, you know, after you eat, you put the, the dirty dishes on the counter. And so clear them off, meaning get them, you know, clean and put away. Get them clean and put away. So yeah, so wash the dishes. That's okay. That's okay. Oh no, I don't know how to pronounce jar. <laughs> oh, Ava, I can't pronounce his name. Your name's easy, Ava. Your husband's name, Jar, Jaroslav, Jaroslav. Oh, I don't want to say, I don't want to say his name wrong. Jaroslav. Oh, oh I don't want to, I don't want to make a mistake. How about Jar? <laughs> Ava and Jar. Jar and Ava. Jar and Ava. Oh, I know I'm saying it wrong. Tomas. He cleared off the dishes. Okay, Samuel, wash it. Yeah, get, get, they were dirty and get them off. Get them clean and put away. Clean and put away. That could, that's, that's the meaning. Like, Get them clean and put away. Get them clean and put away. Clear off. Clear off. Yeah, clear off the dishes, Ava. Joe cleared off the dishes. That's right, Marion. Yeah, uh, Rita finished cleaning off the dishes. Okay. Joe washed his dishes, cleared up the coffee. Yeah, okay, Alice, but what's the first thing? So he cleared off the dishes. That was the first thing. Oh, okay, Tomas. Okay, so next, when we, when we Zoom in, in April. Okay, and maybe Ava, your husband can say hello to us, okay? Oh, that was right. Jaroslav. Um, so, so re, uh, Ava, please, um, when, we, when we Zoom next month, Please, um, please have um, like yummy, yummy first letter. Oh, yummy Slav, yummy Slav. Okay, okay. So the J, you know, it's funny. J in in many languages have like in Spanish it's um like uh, Juan, Juan, like, and so I guess in in um, Czech. It's yam, ya, yam, yamislav. Ya, ya, yarislav, yaruslav, yaru, ya. Oh, I'm, I'm, yaroslav, yaroslav, yaroslav. Well, Helga, everyone's like, you guys can be Czech. Wow. Everyone can say the R hard, okay? Um, yaroslav, yaroslav. Yaroslav. <laughs> Yaroslav. 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 Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm embarrassed. No, you guys are laughing at me now. Everyone's like laughing. Perfect. Really? Yaros Yaroslav. 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 <laughs> now I'm making it worse. Okay. Okay. Everyone doesn't want to hear me. Yeah, everyone's laughing. Okay. No more. <laughs> Okay, yes, everyone, okay, per, Yaroslav, Yar, Yaroslav, Yaroslav, ah! <laughs> Here we go, question number two. Um, what did Yaroslav do second? <laughs> what did Yaroslav do second? So I changed the name. Now it's Eva and Yaroslav. So what did Yaroslav do second? Oh, I don't feel confident. No, Ava, I do not feel confident. <laughs> I feel embarrassed. I'm, is my face red? Huh? I've turned red. Oh, thanks, Devender. <laughs> oh, I'm so bad. I'm so bad at 
pronouncing difficult words. I'm so bad. Okay, what did he do second? What did Yaroslav do second? Okay, Devender is on the board. Cleared the expired food in the refrigerator. Yaroslav cleared off, clean, cleared, cleared some expired food from the fridge. Yes. <laughs> Tetsu, he cleared off some expired food. I saw him. Oh, okay. Oh, so you, you and Ava had um, a, a Zoom conversation. Good, good, Devender. Yeah, he cleared off removed. Uh, he cleared, Tomas says he cleared off the expired food from the fridge. Yeah, Charles. So he cleared off the, the expired food from the top shelf. Yeah, top shelf. Oh, Marion, you got it. <laughs> Please say hello to Yao. Y Yaroslav. Please say hello to Yar uh, Yaroslav for me. <laughs> oh no. Um, Marion says, Joe cleared off some expired food from the top shelf. Perfect, Marion. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, Alice put the expired food. No, didn't put it in the fridge. Took it out. Alice, he took out the expired food. Sewu, um, he cleared off expired food from the top shelf in the fridge. Yes. Very good. Samuel, he cleared off the expired food on the top shelf. Perfect. Okay, good, 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 Devender. Lolly, he cleared off some expired food in the fridge. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, everyone's helping me with... with um, Ava's husband's name. Everyone wants me to do it correctly. Thank you. Let's see. I think that was worse. Vilmar. Wow, Vilmar, that doesn't help me. Vilmar, that makes, that is no help to me, Vilmar. You're, you're, you're just tricking me. Now you're, now you are being mean to me. <laughs> you guys are tricking me now. Um, Helga cleared off. Yeah, remove. Remove from a flat surface. So clear off means to remove from a flat surface. Clear off. Remove from a flat surface. Right? So, so like a table, a counter, a shelf. So the refrigerator has shelves, right? A refrigerator has shelves. And so you clear off the top shelf. So maybe the top shelf, there's, you know, milk and cheese and things like that. And so they have expired. So it's, if you eat them, you might get um, food poisoning, right? So we got to clear them off. And so that, in another way, like, take it out, um, clean up. So um, remove from a flat surface, clear off. Remove from a flat surface. Okay, good, good. Let's go with question number three. Clear it off, take it out. Yeah, remove, remove. That's right, remove. Take it out, take it off, remove. All right. Question number three. Yeah, don't get a stomach ache. So eating expired food can give you a stomach ache. Yes, Sewu. Um, remove to remove the, from the fridge and take away the chickens. I don't know, Rita, I don't understand. Remove the fridge and take take away for the chickens. I Oh, give it to the chickens. 
Ah, okay, I think read I. Do you mean, so remove the expired food and give it to the chickens. Remove the expired food and give it to the chickens. Ah, that's a good idea. The chickens don't care. The chickens can eat expired food, right? Because they have a strong stomach. Good idea. Okay, here we go. Question number three. What did Joe do third? What did Joe do third? Question three. What did Joe do third? What did Joe do third? So what was the third thing Joe did? The third thing that Joe did. First, he cleared off the dishes. The second thing he did is he um, cleared the expired food from the top shelf in the refrigerator. What was the third thing he did? Yeah, they are. They're, they're little dinosaurs. That's right, Tomas. Chickens are little dinosaurs. Mmm. Sewu, yes, he cleared off the magazines. Good. Yep. Cleared off the old magazines. Good. Uh, no, the third thing was the magazines. Yep, Mrs. G, you're back. Mrs. G Classroom is back. Yeah, good, Helga. Yes, Mrs. G. Oh, okay, okay, Ava, he, he cleaned the coffee table. Yeah, yeah, so he cleared off the magazines to get the, so, so the coffee table will be clean. Yeah, so maybe with all the, with the old magazines, it's all cluttered, right? So it's messy. So Sue wanted the old magazines out so the coffee table would be neat. So we have neat and messy, right? So neat, messy. So so before it was messy, right? All the old magazines on top. And then um, Sue, wanted the Sue wanted the coffee table to be neat. So Joe, clear off the old magazines. Let's get the coffee table neat. Ah, Tomas, I love messy tables. <laughs> oh no. I don't know, Vilmar. Give the expired expired chicken. That means it's a dead chicken, Vilmar. If the if the chicken is expired, that means the chicken is dead. Give give the dead chick no chickens aren't cannibals, are they? Are chickens cannibals? Do they eat other chickens? I don't know. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, here we go. One more question. Question number four. What did Joe do fourth? What was the fourth thing Joe did? What was the fourth thing Joe did? What was number four? What did Joe do fourth? What did Joe do fourth? What did Joe do fourth? Miriam, Joe, or Sue is the boss. Yes, Sue is the boss. That's right, Miriam. Sue is the boss. Wow. Mrs. G says, chickens are cannibals. They'll eat each other. Ah! Now I'm going to eat eggs 
and chicken in a different, I, I'm going to have a different idea about chickens and eggs. <laughs> oh, no. Mrs. G, I'm, I'm never going to have chicken or eggs the same now. I'll never look at chickens and eggs in the same way. I will never look at chickens and eggs in the same way. I will never look at chickens and eggs in the same way. I didn't know they're cannibals. I knew they'd eat anything, but not each other. No, no, don't eat each other. That's terrible. Chickens, don't do that, chickens. Don't do that. Okay, Lolly is on the board. He cleared off the old paint cans on the workbench. And let me look. Da -na 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 -na. Yes, you are correct, Lolly. The fourth thing was he cleared off the old paint cans on the workbench. He cleared off the old paint cans on the workbench. Charles, the CDs was the fifth thing, the last. But I don't have five questions. I have four questions. And you did it, you guys. Good job. Good job. So let's check it off. The questions are done. Okay, let's do reading. Reading time. Reading time. So now I'm going to... You're welcome, Lolly. Now I'm going to hold the conversation to the camera and let's read it together, shall we? Let's do it. Let's read it together. That's okay. Ava forgot. That's okay. Maybe many other people forgot. But now we're going to look at it so, um, so we can um, review and practice reading it. Anna says, hello, Mark. You have two beverages. What are you drinking from the cup? And what are you drinking from the orange tumbler? I'm just curious. Well, Anna, I'm happy to tell you it's not a secret. No, Anna, there's no secrets here. I do not hold any secrets, Anna. If you want to know, I will tell you. <laughs> so, from the white mug, maybe others know. Okay, this is a quiz for you. What's in the white mug? Tell, uh, tell Anna what's in the white mug, please. Can you tell her what's in here? Because Anna is curious. She wants to know what I... Yes, it's a quiz, Tetsuro. What's in here? What am I drinking in the white mug? Please. Yes, Sewu. Sewu knows. Anna, this is filled with water. See? There's water. There is water inside here. This has water. And question two... What's in the orange tumbler, everyone? Anna wants to know. She is curious. What is in the orange tumbler? Not whiskey, Vilmar. No, 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 no. It's in the morning for me. This is, or noon. It's like 12 noon. So I don't drink whiskey at 12 in the afternoon. Helga, thank you. Yes. And Anna, in this, we have coffee. I have coffee. And so I drink coffee here. I drink coffee from the tumbler and I drink water from, yes, and it's Colombian coffee. So everyone knows me well here. Yes, so there's Colombian in here. Yes, coffee without sugar. I drink my coffee black. Oh boy, chickens are killers. Killer chickens. Oh, no. Mrs. G, don't tell me chickens are killers. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Don't tell me, please. I don't want to hear that chickens are killers. No. I love chickens. <laughs> I want my own chicken. Um, yes, Charles. Black coffee. And my water is... Tell me where my water comes from, please. This is our last quiz, and then we have to read. So, where does my water come from? Well, I live in Japan, so it comes from Japan. So, don't say it comes from Japan. Where, 
Where does my water come from, please? Do you know? Do you remember? Can you recall how I get my water? Do you recall how I get my water? Let's tell, let's tell Anna how I get my water. Where does my water come from? Of course, I live in Japan, so this is... Dora, I'm from Los Angeles. Can you do a lesson citizen exam? I don't know the citizen exam. I don't know it. Oh, no, it's not a water purifier. It's not Scottish whiskey, no. Actually, it's from the faucet. I get my water, yeah, from the tap. Good, Charles. My water is right out of the tap. My water is right out of the tap. Okay. So, Anna was curious, and now, Anna, you know. So I drink water and coffee. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, all right. So let's read the conversation, all right? So I'm going to hold the conversation to the camera so we can read it together. Here we go. Let's read it together. Here we go. Joe is first. Tap water. It, it's tap water. Hold on. My, I have allergies. My nose is running. Hold on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You can't see me, but I have to. Sorry. Sorry. I have to like clear my nose. Okay. Here we go. Let's read it together. So, Joe's first. Joe is speaking first. Sue, I'm finished. I'm finished clearing off the dishes. Thanks, Joe. I think there is some expired food in the fridge. I cleared off those from the top shelf. Great. Can you clear off the old magazines on the coffee table? Done. What about the newspaper? Don't clear that off. I haven't read it yet. Okay. Now I'll clear off the old paint cans on the workbench. Do you mind clearing off your old CDs on the bookcase? But I still listen to them. Then, why are they dusty? Okay, here we go. From the river. Uh, I don't think it comes from the river. It comes from the ground. I think the tap comes from the ground. Okay, here we go. All right. Sue, I'm finished clearing off the dishes. Thanks, Joe. I think there is some expired food in the fridge. I cleared off those from the top shelf. Great. Can you clear off the old magazines on the coffee table? Done. What about the newspaper? Don't clear that off. I haven't read it yet. Okay. Now I'll clear off the old paint cans on the workbench. Do you mind clearing off the old CDs on the bookcase? But I still listen to them. Then why are they dusty? Why are they dusty? <laughs> Run to catch your nose. That's what I understand. I have a runny nose. That means mucus is leaking out of my nose. Okay, okay. Ava, I have never had allergies. You are lucky. Uh-oh. Hold on. I got it. It's, I, I'm going to, hold on. I, sorry, sorry. I'm going to turn off the sound so you can't hear me. I, I'm going to sneeze. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, it's getting bad right now. I'm going to have to, uh, okay, we're almost done. Woo. Okay, oh, this is bad. Oh, here we go. No problem, Ava, no problem. 
Okay, let's, all right, all right. Now, oh, we, we did the reading, so let's, let's, let's mark that off. The reading is done. Okay, now it's time to shadow. That is speaking practice, all right? So we will practice speaking the conversation. Okay, let's speak the conversation. Here we go, count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Helga, um, I'm not sick. It's, it's an allergy, so um, let's see. Um, I'm like, get well soon. I'm not sick, so we don't really say that, but um, I hope your allergies get better. How about that? Okay, that's good. Helga, I hope, so please say that in the chat, Helga. I hope your allergies get better. I hope your allergies get better. Thank you, Helga. Thank you. Okay, let's practice speaking now. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Sue, I'm finished clearing off the dishes. I'm finished clearing off the dishes. I'm finished clearing off the dishes. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe. I think there is some expired food in the fridge. I think there is some expired food in the fridge. I think there is some expired food in the fridge. I cleared off those from the top shelf. I cleared off those from the top shelf. I cleared off those from the top shelf. Great, great, great. Thank you, Alice. Oh, thank you, everybody. I hope your allergies get better. Thank you. I hope your allergies get better. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dora, thank you. Okay. Let's continue. Can you clear off the old magazines on the coffee table? Can you clear off the old magazines on the coffee table? Can you clear off the old magazines on the coffee table? Can you clear off the old magazines from the coffee table? Done. Done, done, done. What about the newspaper? What about the newspaper? What about the newspaper? Don't clear that off. Don't clear that off. Don't clear that off. I haven't read it yet. 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 Okay, okay, okay. Now I'll clear off the old paint cans on the workbench. Now I'll clear off the old paint cans on the workbench. Now I'll clear off the old paint cans on the workbench. Do you mind clearing off your old CDs on the bookcase? Do you mind clearing off your old CDs on the bookcase? Do you mind clearing off the old CDs on the bookcase? Do you mind clearing off your old CDs on the bookcase. But I still listen to them. But I still listen to them. But I still listen to them. Then why are they dusty? Then why are they dusty? Then why are they dusty? <laughs> okay, good, 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 good. Let's look at it one more time, shall we? Sue, I'm finished clearing off the dishes. Thanks, Joe. I think there is some expired food on the fridge. In the fridge, sorry. I think there is some expired food in the fridge. I cleared off those from the top shelf. Great. Can you clear off the old magazines on the coffee table? Done. What about the newspaper? Don't clear that off. I haven't read it yet. Okay, now I'll clear off the old paint cans on the workbench. 
do you mind clearing off your old CDs on the bookcase? But I still listen to them. Then why are they dusty? Then why are they dusty? Why are they dusty? If you, if you are still listening to them, then why are they dusty? If you are still listening to them, why are they dusty? If you are still listening to them, then why are they dusty? <laughs> okay, well, that was shadowing. We did it all. Woohoo! Yeah, look at the board. Look at the board. Look at the board. Lots of stuff is on the board. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a picture of the whiteboard. I'm going to take a picture so you can go to my Facebook group page and check it out anytime you want to. Yes, you can. So I'm going to open my camera. There it is. I'm going to take a picture of the whiteboard. Then I will upload it to my Facebook group page. Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice. The link is below. So you can, anytime you want, you can check it out. Okay. You, right now you can't see me, but you can hear me. And I'm going to take a picture of the whiteboard. Here we go. Countdown. Four, three, two, one. Okay. It is done. The picture has been taken. It has been taken. And later today, I will upload it into my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice, so you can check it out anytime you want to. Okay. Well, it's a busy whiteboard. It's a very, very busy whiteboard. That's right, Ava. Well, thank you, everyone. And I want to give special thanks today to Cebu, mwah. Anna, mwah. Patty, mwah. Wadi38, I don't know if you're a boy or a girl, but I'm going to give you a kiss anyway. Mwah. And BD518, I don't know if you're a boy or a girl, but I'm going to give you a kiss anyway. Mwah. And Hernando, you are a man, so I'm just going to say, shake your hand and say, thank you so much for your kind support. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Charles. Um, it is Friday. That means we have a weekend coming up. Yes, tomorrow is Saturday. Then it's Sunday. So um, thanks so much, everyone. Tetsuro, thank you so much. Um, um, Ava, thank you so much. Um, anyways, you guys are number one. Yes, I have the best chat on YouTube for sure. You guys are the best. And I really appreciate you guys and um, the green team, great people. And please um, consider, that means think about it. Please consider, think about, oh, Anna. Oh, Anna, you just made my, you, I've never had more than six. So this has been the best day. This has been, Anna, this has been, I've never had more than six people. Um, do a, a um, super chat or super sticker. Anna, mwah, wow, wow, wow. Today was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people um, gave me extra support. So, wow, this has been, this is a record. Before it was six, today is seven. Wow, wow. Thank you. <laughs> Anna, big kisses to you. Mwah. So, wow, I am very lucky today. I am very fortunate today. I have the best people here. Um, yeah, Lolly says, join the friendly green team. Thank you, Lolly, for, for um, your support. And thank you for um, um, asking other people to come into our group. That, that's really kind and, and sweet and generous and wonderful. So um, Thanks, everyone. Always. Thank you, always. I will be back on Tuesday, March 30th. Yeah, so today is Friday, um, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and I will be back on Tuesday. Yeah, so I hope to see you Tuesday, 5 p.m. Japan time. I live in Japan, so that's 5 p.m. Japan time. Okay. Seiwu, thank you for your coffee today. Thank you. Cheers. Um, all right. Let's say goodbye together. Let's say goodbye together. 
Um, yeah, thank you again, everyone. Uh, let's count down, all right? Let's count down and say goodbye together. Here we go. And, and just again, Anna, thank you. That's very, very kind. I really, really appreciate it. Mwah. I do, I do, I do. Patty, thank you today, as always. Thank you, Patty. You're a supporter, and you did even more support. Thank you so much. Okay, here we go. Let's count down. <laughs> Counting down. Five, four, three, two, one. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.